Hey guys, this is Bharadwaj with Phone Arena and this is the Zen Ultraphone 701 HD and uh, we are going to do a camera review of this phone. So this has a 8 megapixel sensor, this is a backside illuminated sensor and has a single LED flash. So this camera is pretty decent, we have uh, gone through uh, in length about it in our review, you can read that in the link below. Uh, so let's take a hands on look at it. So since this is running on Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean, you have the lock screen widgets, uh, which also allow you allows you to have the uh, camera shortcut on the lock screen. So opening it up, we have the very familiar user interface that you usually see in these mid-range 720p phones. Uh, there are a lot of options here, so let's go through them first. Uh, so it has tap to focus, as you can see here and uh, this is the gallery thing uh, front facing camera shortcut shortcut for flash and uh, over here at the left you have quick toggles for settings uh, so hdr mode can be enabled in a click face beautification mode which is kind of a gimmick uh, it softens your face skin and whatnot uh, you have a panorama mode here uh, and then after that a multi-angle mode which is actually a sweep panorama mode uh, then you have auto scene which automatically detects the scene according to the settings and uh, does its AI stuff there is a smile detection mode which takes a picture when you smile and this is the best shot mode which takes a burst of pictures and takes the least blurriest one and then of course you have the EV bracket shot mode which uh, can take with different exposures at the same time. It will save different uh, uh, s uh, exposed pictures and then you can choose them or make a HDR pic out of them. So that's the basic camera UI out there. And on the right you have the shutter button which on long press takes a burst of photos and on a single press takes a single photo. And the gallery is directly accessible by a swipe by a downward swipe or by pressing the button, uh, the thumbnail here. And the overall settings are placed in the tabbed interface here. So you can turn on geolocation, the exposure, you can change, this is basically the exposure compensation. You can add some color effects. Here are the scene modes, uh, some of the scene modes here are night, sunset, party and whatnot. Yeah, you can change the white balance and you can of course change the image properties like sharpness, hue, saturation and brightness. So if you think uh, the image is a bit too sharp, you can probably change it to low and use it. And if flicker is just a thing that uh, uses frequencies to line up with the artificial lights which may flicker at high shutter speeds. And then of course you have zero shutter delay. Uh, just by a click it will automatically focus, it will always hunt for focus and take a photo. Face detection, uh, ISO and all granular controls. And then you have the video mode. Uh, this can record in 10, full HD 1080p that is set with the fine mode. High is 720p, medium is uh, 480 and lower. So you can also add FX for video. Uh, like a lot of uh, gimmicky effects here. You can also set for time lapse interval, audio mode, which will show you uh, meeting or normal meeting will be a bit muted. And microphone, microphone, you can turn it on or off. EIS is a image stabilizer uh, stabilization mode, uh, which works with, by cropping the software. So just a, by a single click, you can take a photo or take a video. So let's take an indoor photo here and see how it performs. Uh, we have uh, turned the auto rotation off. So let's uh, zoom into the picture. Uh, as you can see here, the picture is not as good as we expected, but it is good enough. It is a decent 8 megapixel camera. And uh, let's see some daylight shots that we took earlier. Uh, this is a macro shot that we took outside. It has uh, the same props as you saw and as you can see at 100% it has really good clarity and uh, a nice bokeh too 
Uh, so with this picture, 100% zooming on, you could see that the text is very clear with the sharpness very well in control. But uh, you would notice a slight amount of blurring on the top right. We have uh, seen that happening a lot in this camera, but that is uh, not exactly uh, processing effect. Taking a look at other uh, stills that we took, this is an indoor shot. This indoor shot was taken inside a hotel room and uh, has very minimal lighting. So as you can see, a lot of noise here. So yeah, even if it's a backlight illuminated sensor, uh, backside illuminated sensor, it doesn't take that good uh, low light pictures. And another low light picture here, this time a macro, uh, you can see a lot of noise in here. So much of post processing, uh, not really good. So anyway, let's take a look at a few of uh, full HD videos that we took so here's a full HD video that we took in Bangalore So this was without the EIS stabilization. So with EIS stabilization we took another video. It doesn't make much of a difference but still we had to show you if there is any difference. Not much we would say because our hands were a bit steady already. So yeah, that was a video demonstration here. Talking of the front facing camera, there is a 3.2 megapixel unit on the front here. Uh, I'm gonna just activate it and show you how the quality is. Uh, so yes, hey, that's me. Uh, this is the 3.2 megapixel front camera. It works well in uh, well lit conditions like these and it is pretty decent for video calling but it is nothing uh, special. You could record 720p video from the front facing camera here, but that's about it. Uh, it is pretty good and nothing great. So overall, if you look at the camera, it's actually pretty decent when you uh, notice the price. This comes at 11,999 and at that price, this camera is pretty good and will serve you well. The video is also nice, but not excellent uh, and the stills are pretty good. Uh, good enough we would say and yeah before we forget you zoom with your fingers pinch to zoom how about that so anyway that was a camera review of the Zen Ultraphone 701 HD uh, do hit the like button if you like this video and do subscribe to our channel for more camera reviews of many other models like these thanks for watching